it's Louise here from Crazy Borgies. Right, okay, I am going to do another kitting up video because like I said the other day, I have quite a lot of kitting up to do in order to get Christmas sorted this year. It's <laughs> quite a lot going on. Anyway, right, so I hope you're all well this lovely Thursday morning. Hope you've all had a good week so far and that you're all safe blessed happy and all the rest of it all the good stuff and not the bad stuff if you are having a bad week then please 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 try to put it to the back of your mind grab yourself a cup of coffee just chillax and everything will work out as it's supposed to be god willing okay so right moving on from that i thought this morning i would do a little bit about myself um in this video i don't like talking about myself that much to be honest with you um but this painting is a very very special painting for me um as it's a place where we used to go when i was a little girl practically every year for the first like i don't know 10 years of my life we would go um to this place and um, it's part of me and who I am and I try to um, teach my children a little bit about it as well so I will not keep you in suspense anymore I will just show you the painting and then let you figure out where it is <laughs> you probably know anyway I hope you know um, some people don't actually know where this place is okay so this is Gibraltar so I am half Gibraltarian okay my mum was um, half Scottish half Welsh born in England and my dad was born here in Gibraltar which is a British colony right on the edge of Spain and every now and then you know there's a few uh, bad words between the Spanish and the British because the Spanish are desperate to get this lovely special place back because it's so special and it's um they see it as it's on their land and it's their waters but really it's the british waters because it was given to the british as a gift i think um not sure i don't know all the ins and outs of it but yes this is um in my blood it's part of my culture it's part of who i am and uh yeah so i'm kitting this up i this was one that i done it's a personalized one a custom one um that i ordered off i think amazon many many months ago and it's only a 30 by 40 this is back back a while ago when i didn't realize that you know the more the bigger the image the more detail you get but you know we just work with it i do have a bigger version than this from a different angle of the rock i think i've got it from the other side of the rock um but yeah i think that um we just give this one a shot see how we get on with i've already chosen my washi tape it has 25 colors mainly blue greens and whites um and we have got some pinks as well so i think what i will do i've already written up my labels there we go already written up my labels even though they're a bit yep they're all ready and i think we will just get started and so yeah this is a special place to me as i said my dad is from there and um ideally before my mum got ill we were looking to buy a place in spain but unfortunately for financial reasons it just didn't happen um the dream is still alive though guys it's still there maybe one day maybe if those uh lottery numbers come in eh? <laughs> it'd be nice just to be able to buy a place if not on the rock itself then maybe just um not not the uh border itself because 
yeah for obvious reasons maybe just over into spain a little bit inland um perhaps we see we see what what god has in mind if he has any um ideas for me in that aspect of things right so i'm using my favorite big tubs as you can see and uh yeah i like to get them all out i think what i'm gonna do is just this one is my favorite type of symbol it is just numbers and letters and who doesn't like numbers and letters that's the, the best way isn't it best ones are numbers and letters no funky symbols as i like to call them oh honestly funky symbols they drive you crazy right okay then okay okay So the language spoken in Gibraltar, it is Gibraltarian, it is a different version of uh, Spanish and English. It's kind of, I like to think it's a bit like broken Spanish and broken English moulded together. That's what Gibraltarian language is like, I think. I could be wrong, I'm sure there's many Gibraltarians out there that would like to differ with me on that. <laughs> If they're anything like my dad, they're always up for a debate, trust me. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so when I bought this, I was I did have it in mind that I was gonna buy it as a gift. But now, you know, I don't know. It depends how it comes out, doesn't it? If I'm gonna gift it or not, really. You know, right, we've only got number one is 151 and we've only got one of them. I'm going to try and use this container today. I mean, I didn't have anything against the funnel version that I used the other day, but it did kind of annoy me after a while, I'm not going to lie. Okay. And today is the 11th of the 11th, so I do also want to say a big happy Remembrance Day to all our um, lost soldiers and all those who gave their lives up for the service of their country. You're truly valued, you're truly prayed for and blessed and... Um, I'm sure in God's heavenly kingdom, you will be truly rewarded for your service. Okay. I will, <coughs> sorry. I will be doing a um, diamond painting of a poppy. That is the, the symbol of Remembrance um, Day here in the UK. I think it is in most countries. Um, I will... We tried, I did try order it, but I did, unfortunately it didn't come in time. Um, but I will be doing it, and even if I get it up for Sunday, because I'm pretty sure they do something on Sunday as well. The Queen usually goes and lies a wreath at the, uh, the statue to remember all the war dead. And uh, yeah, I think even if I get it up for then, I will be doing the painting as quickly as I can it's only a partial and I will be mounting it up in my living room window as well so everyone who walks past can see um and my daughter has also gone to school wearing a nice poppy this morning <laughs> bless her she reminded me you know because as parents we do our heads are just full of stuff all the time all the time guys right the next one, that gorgeous colour is 151. I do like to tell you guys the DMC codes if I have them because lots of people ask me, oh, that's a nice colour. What's that? What colour? What DMC code is that? Because obviously they want to go and order it and I'm like, oh, I don't actually remember. So <laughs> it's best if I just tell you whilst I'm kitting up that i know is that the next one 154 yes it is 
154 is the next colour. Okay, so we didn't have any problems with this one so far. This little heart shaped thingy majiggy. So this is 154, guys, and it's like a deep purple colour. Lovely. The only thing is, I wish I'd have got this in white, if they do it in white, because then you can see the colour of the drills a lot easier. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Right, number three is 160. They're all mixed up, please. They're not in any sort of order whatsoever, which is a pain. Oh, la-da-da-da-da. That's life though, isn't it, sometimes? 160, no. It's Thursday, guys. Nearly the end of the week. Praise the Lord. I tell you, time goes so fast, doesn't it? You blink and it's another week been and gone. One, where is this? Don't tell me that there's one missing already. And I'm always saying, check your jewels, guys. There we go. No, found them. Found them, found them. There we go. Yeah, that's the reason why to check your jewels as well. Because if you put them away, if you store your paintings away and think, oh, yeah, I'll do that when I get a chance in about 200 years like me then uh, yeah if you're missing drills it's a pain 160 this is a light blue colour almost grey I think a bluey sort of like no it is a blue it's not a grey probably going to think I'm colour blind soon guys but the, you know sometimes on the, these beads beads on these drills even the colour you know it changes with the different light as well that you have that's why they're so special you see 160 that one is so has anyone started their Christmas shopping? Because I haven't. I am fairly unorganised when it comes to Christmas. It's a bit of a... What's a how can I explain it? The only way to explain it is... Uh, Lastminute.com. That's me. <laughs> I'm not one of those that has ever been planned. I wish I was. Every year I say, right, next year, that's it. I'm going to start earlier la di da di da and it never happens for whatever reason it's difficult isn't it there hope you can see okay guys right so number four is 161 that should be easy enough 161 hmm there it is 161 Whoops, a daisy. We have our usual doesn't want to cooperate drill this morning. Doesn't want to come out the bag. Is it out? Yes, it is. There we go. Another blue. I think we're going to have a lot of blues in this colour palette, guys. 161. It's a deeper, slightly darker colour than... The last one come on in your hop in 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 i have spilt some never mind my videos are real life guys they're not staged performances or anything whatever happens in them is just happens and that's it <laughs> 
Oh dear. There's no point in being fake really, is there? Because you know, you'll get found out eventually. Right. So this one is 161, did I say? Yeah. 161. Okay, why am I getting another one out when it's already there? I don't know. Number five is 312. Okay, I'm sure I saw that one a minute ago, didn't I? At the back here, maybe. No, 319. I'm hoping this one won't take me too long to do, guys. Oh, so it's right in front of me, honestly. <laughs> oh, never mind. We have quite a lot of this one as well. We've got two, four, six, eight packets of it. Wow. Lots of multi-placing, multi-spaces or whatever, multi-places, if you use them. I have used them before. I've tried my hardest to get on with them, guys, but... Not for me. You know, some things work for you and some things don't. And they definitely do not. They do not work for me. Okay. I end up getting a bit frustrated with them. I don't even think this one's open on the end of that. I must have just missed it. See, three, one, two. That is. Rio is nice and calm today because he's had his his daily. Um, well, he doesn't. He tends to have a bath every other day for some reason. That's his routine. He won't change that. That's how he wants it. So she wants it even. So that's how she is. Um. And this morning she had a quick wash in the kitchen sink. Can you believe that? Yeah. Okay. So this container probably isn't great for more than one pack or two packs. I mean, the bulk of them have gone in, but yeah, maybe the lid should come off for the bigger amount, so... Take the lid off. Right, there we go. No matter how hard you try, you've always got to spill some drills, isn't you? Sometimes they remind me of those hundreds and thousands, you know, those sprinkles that you put on top of cakes, especially when you've got lots of different colours. But, um, yeah, kids are still moaning at me for the tree to go up, guys. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't want to put it up just yet. I like my living room the way it is at the moment. <laughs> Once that tree goes up, as lovely as it is, everything shrinks, doesn't it? Because the tree takes up most of the room. And everything becomes kind of like a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, everything revolves around the tree. So, although I do like Christmas... 
talking to a lovely lady this morning and she's like oh yes i'm practically done with all my gifts mind you she only has one child so it does make a difference um i have four so yeah if i was going to get them all done i'd have to start like about i don't know september time and yeah that's <laughs> i'm not that organized right okay so this one is three one two as i said another blue okay so we're on to six seven and eight six is three one nine three one nine it's a green this one 319 a dark green because there is a fair amount of greenery on Gibraltar too up the slope tell you if you drove up those roads in Gibraltar they're not for the faint hearted I tell you they don't have much in the way of uh, barriers at the side so when you look out the window you can see right down the rockets of it yeah, it's a bit uh, airy scary, so to speak. Very airy scary. There we go. So it's a dark, 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 dark green. And then you also have the uh, wild apes that go walking around. Last time I went, my son was in his pushchair. We just got to the top because I think we just had a cable cart ride or we were waiting to go in the cable carts or something. So they have these little carts that go up the side. And um, yeah, uh, Ape came along and uh, yeah, he tried to take my flipping bag from underneath the push chair. I couldn't believe it, guys. They're so cheeky. They're cute, but they're cheeky. Do not be fooled by them, I tell you. <laughs> one sat next to my dad and on the wall and it was really weird it was almost like he recognized an ancestor or something an ancestor even you know i was like oh dad he recognizes you there it's quite funny i tell you but um they can be quite aggressive where food is concerned as well number seven four one three you know, if they see food in a push chair or in the bottom, if someone's got food, they will try and take it. They will. Even though they get fed every day, they have people go up and feed them. When I was a little girl, you see, we didn't, you didn't used to have to pay to go and see the eggs. You could just go up and see them or anything. But now at the top of the rock, I think you've got to pay to get up there. 413 this one is. Last time we went, you had to pay. It's a dark grey colour, guys. Dark grey. I'm going to move you because I don't feel like my lighting is the, uh, the greatest here. Or it could be. Could be the... Um, Hang on a second. It could be the container that I'm pouring them out in. Let me move you around there. Okay. That's better. Look at that. You can see the drills better now. That's 413. I don't know how you ended up on that side, guys. I really don't. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. Yep, perfect. Right, so as I said, number seven, this one is 413 and it is a dark grey colour. Yep, dark grey. There. Number eight is what's number eight is four five three four five three double up four five three 
gorgeous different shades of blues you know never realized there were so many different shades of blues on the rock so when i was a little, a little girl i went there for the first time when i was about five years old i think and um <clears throat> my parents my dad bought me a gorgeous ring from there because i was so upset about leaving i didn't want to leave i wanted to stay there bless it was calling me the rock was calling me saying no don't go <laughs> and um so i've still got that ring to this day it's tiny it only fits on my little finger now though um gorgeous ring though And when you're mixed as well, when you have mixed blood like I, I do, I class myself as mixed. Um, it's difficult because you feel like your heart is literally in two places at the same time. <laughs> right, number eight. So this one is 453. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, so now well, that's our numbers done. So now we're moving on to the letters. So let's put our letters in order. And then that way, working like this, luckily they're already in alphabetical order. Oh, yeah, right, so we are on A and that is 517. There we go. Yeah, Rio was getting a bit aggressive with me again, guys, today. I think. She was a bit hungry after her bath, so that's why I put her back in her cage and she seemed quite happy now to be back in there. Usually what happens, I tell you, she's got her routine and you can't mess with it. she have her bath, a little play in her bath, and uh, then she'll have a little fly around for a while. Then she go back in her cage. Have some food and then she go for a siesta. <laughs> That's just the way she is. She's got it down to a T, I tell you. Five one seven, another blue. Yeah. And you can't mess with that routine, you know. She gets really grumpy if you do. You know. She knows what she likes and that's it. Right. C is 520 there we go it's a green another green guys this one i can't see any bad drills guys in these either i mean as i said just today i've been quite lucky with my drills you know i don't really tend to have much in the way of uh yeah much in the way of bad drills there that's better yeah i've been very lucky Okay, D is, I'm sure this came with an inventory sheet, you know, but I can't find it anywhere. 645. Because usually when you get them custom made, they usually do come with an inventory sheet. In my experience, they do anyway.
There we go. It's another. It's a cross between a green, like a camo green, this one. Camouflage green. A greeny grey colour. Now, I think... Oh, yeah. Okay, F is 809, there goes my letterbox guys, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, might be my, my, um, what's it called painting, my poppy painting, I hope so anyway, what was I looking for, F is 809, yeah. another blue another blue whoops I think if I put you over here and then I've got more more natural light to work with guys there That one, what did I say that was again? 809. Okay, okay. I always find that with sticking my labels on, it just works better for me. And then I know. So we have G, which is 819. Hey, it's a pink. Come on, it's always one. Gorgeous baby pink colour. There just seems to be lots of shadows today. Go. 
page is 826. There we go. Oh, we've got lots of 826. Two, four, six. 8 bags worth. So let's hope that I cut them all this time. Just don't want to come out, do they, guys? Here's them ones. Would help if I was holding it the right way back. <laughs> oh gosh, I do make myself laugh. I really do. Never mind. Okay, so this is another blue colour. I need another coffee, guys. That's what it is. It's coming up to lunchtime and I'm only surviving on one coffee. It's not good. I need at least three cups usually by now. <laughs> Honestly. Can you tell that I need coffee, guys? I really desperately do. Okay. I think I might actually stop the video, pause it for a second and go and make myself a latte, a vanilla latte, and I will be back in one second. <laughs> oh, I go all giddy if I don't have coffee. It calms me down and wakes me up a bit. Don't drink, don't smoke, but I do coffee and chocolate. Coffee and chocolate, best things in life. There we go. That was 819, I think. Was that 819? No, it was 826. Eight, yes, the pink before it was 819. Right, I'm going to pause the, the uh, video. See, I can't even think straight and get myself a latte. Because I need it, guys. I need it. We're about. We've only got. We've we've only got a few more left to do. We're about halfway through. So, anyway, I'll be back in one second. Why right, I am back with my vanilla latte, and I'm pretty sure that Rio wants to get out to have some, but she's not allowed. <laughs> anyway, right. So we're on J now. 939 939 come out there we go oh this is a dark navy blue i think it is the darkest blue actually 939 that you can get in both uh cross stitch and as well i think you can't get could be wrong. There we go. It's a midnight navy blue, this one. Probably for the sea around it. My dad was watching something on the TV the other day. Apparently, uh, Jabal was really rich now, apparently. And he said, well, it wasn't when we were growing up. There's, you know, it's like anywhere. There's parts of it that are rich and parts of it that are poor. It's like most places, isn't it, in life? 
and they're always at such extreme um, sides of the uh, spectrum shall we say you know like of poverty poverty and rich there's no in between it's always like miles apart like not miles apart but i mean the division of wealth it's always miles apart okay so there's old navy blue There you go, come on, and Louise is doing a typical Louise and sport spilling, spoiling, spilling her drills. Only a few though. There was quite a few packs there, I think. So really hoping we get some snow this year in the uk we don't get snow it's not guaranteed every year here i wish it was it used to be once upon a time many moons ago but yeah we always get it like maybe a few weeks after christmas or a few weeks before never on the day itself would be nice wouldn't it definitely a winter person definitely <laughs> i think i'd like to go and live in the most coldest country in the world you know because i just don't i'm not a fan of heat i get a bit ugh, i just get really grumpy guys in the heat i can cope with it for a few days but other than that i'm like no i'm fine thank you i want the cold back there we go 939 still plenty of room and i think we had about eight or nine bags of that in there but they weren't filled up bags so but yeah you still you get really good storage for these i think you know these drills in here plenty of room is what i'm meant to be saying right okay so k our next one is 3021 just one pack 3021 okay couple of drills there that are going spare it's a brown color dark brown let's take the lid off Three zero four two. So in November in the Catholic faith, I know I go on about it quite a bit. It's All Souls Month, so we remember all our all our loved ones that are deceased and no longer with us and in some countries i think they do it in spain i'm not sure if they do it in gibraltar as well they actually um go and light candles on all all the graves of their deceased loved ones and it's just a really lovely way to remember your loved one um we don't do it here so much in the uk i wish we did i wish we celebrated that a lot a lot more in the uk than what we do um because there is no real um no all souls in the uk like no no mem remembering of the dead you know it's just kind of like a personal thing that you do so 
but then saying to that I don't, I don't really feel like you have to go to a grave or you have to go anywhere like that to remember your loved one because you carry them in your heart in your memories and in your actions every day you can be at home like a candle say a prayer because sometimes you know um it's not possible is it to go to the cemetery or to to even um spend that time some people find it very difficult to go to cemeteries and they're not nice places are they okay so that is three zero three zero four two that one was i think let me see yep yeah. three zero four two yes it was it's like a, a purple yeah very very light purple color that one sun's trying to come out now guys i feel like my camera's going blurry this morning not quite sure why would help if i was wiping the right side let's see if that helps no. i don't know Move you round, tilt you up a bit. There we go. I think because I've got so much daylight coming through, I'm going to turn that light off and let the natural light work for me. I think that's what I'm going to have to do today, guys. You see my cross trainer there in the background, not my cross trainer, my treadmill that I don't use, it's just there for display purposes. <laughs> like most things anyway right okay let's move on so we are on cue in fact my dad has a grandma that is actually passed away in his um many moons ago she passed away when he was a little boy well when teenager i think he was and she was buried in gibraltar and that's his bucket list is to go and see her grave um it's got to be at least at least maybe 50 50 something years old now this grave so yeah, I think we'd have to get in contact with the um, groundsman or the the cemetery manager to find out exactly where she's buried. Um, that is going to definitely happen, though. We will get there someday and see if we can take him to see her grave. He actually, he looks the double of her as well, so... Um, Three seven two seven. In fact, my my uh, great grandmother on my dad's side, so his grandmother was a medium, and she used to talk to the spirits. Apparently, yeah. My dad experienced some pretty airy, scary stuff when he was a little boy, and he used to stay with her. Um, there we go. Three zero two seven. No, I'm wrong. It's three seven two seven, not three zero three seven two seven. Three seven four three. Oh, this is a nice purple. Very nice. 
going to work with the natural light here, guys. It's not, it's not liking it this morning. Let's put you there. Let's see. No, I keep moving you around today, guys. I do apologise. Okay. It might be all right once I've uploaded it, but... I don't know, it just appears really blurry this morning. Mind you, I've dropped my phone so many times, and that's what I'm filming off of. It's uh, not good. Not good at all. So this is a lovely purple colour, light purple, lilac-y colour. Is it? I don't feel like my camera's doing it much justice this morning. Right, S is 3750. Seven five zero. Right in front of me is dark, dark blue again. There we go. Another midnight blue. Mom. Just gonna go and turn my living room light on guys, see if that helps my situation here. No, not really, it doesn't, does it? Hmm. Three seven five zero. I think you know because I've rearranged my living room because I had new sofas, uh, bigger sofas delivered the other day. But all my light is through my back window, not my front. It doesn't come over to the front until about whew, about four o'clock ish. It comes over quite late actually. So this isn't helping the situation. And now my table has been moved to near the front front window and that's what's going on. But never mind, never mind. 3750 that one was. Midnight blue. Okay, T. Three eight zero seven. Tiny little bag of blues here. feel like it's worth me showing you the drills in these but in this container until it's in there because you can see them better in there than you can in there three eight three eight zero What was it that I just said? Three eight zero seven. Yeah. You. What is you? Is three eight zero eight. There's a lot of these, I think. Yeah. We got two. Two, four, six, eight of these, eight packs of this colour. I 
I do apologise once again if this video is really long guys but you know I don't tend to do like short videos for some reason my videos seem to always always go on I tried to get it down to the half an hour mark but yeah it doesn't always work it doesn't always work such is life Okay, so this is a really gorgeous blue, this one. Let's see how we get on, see if we can get all our drills in the one. Yeah, no problem. Eight bags in there. No problem and still room for more, actually. Gorgeous blue, actually. It's like a cyan blue, is it? Cyan? Yeah. Cyan. Rio is starting because she wants, she's had her siesta now. She's dry and she wants to come out. Can come out in a minute. There we go. Gorgeous blue. Can you see that colour? Yeah. Okay, last few now. I think we just need three more. There we go. V is three eight four zero do you know what guys i'm gonna just pour it straight in i think to the container why not eh? at this point in time there we go uh three eight four three wow there's a lot of these a lot of these ones so I think I'm going to have to use my uh, scissors. There's something in that. Hmm, a bit of wood. Okay. Whoops. Yes, I've done it. I've got all them all out in one piece. Look at that. Okay. That's a gorgeous blue, isn't it? This last one. No, it's not the last one. It is the second to last one. It's 3843, this colour. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Never mind. Never mind. Oh. Never mind. yeah this is yeah how not to kit up guys how not to kit up mind you i've seen worse i've seen pe pictures of people spilling them all over their carpet so you know it does happen doesn't it we're not perfect we're humans I don't think there's a creature on this planet that is perfect, so. Hmm. 
when I first started diamond painting, if I dropped drills like this, I'd have a complete panic about it. Oh my god! But now, I'm just like, yeah, whatever. It happens. It happens. It's not a big deal. And if you do spill them, just picking them up with your finger like so, they just naturally stick to the finger for some reason. Here we go. There we go. That sun is not helping my situation, is it, guys? Right. Last one now. Three, three, eight, six, one is my last one. I'm just going to move you here, see if this helps. Although, I think between the sun and everything else that could go wrong, <laughs> that has gone wrong. Three eight six one is this one, and this is my last one now, number twenty five. It's a biscuit colour, sort of. Very very light, light brown. There we go. So, the fun part now. The washi tape part. So let me just put these away in here. Feel forward to just, you know, press that forward button to the parts that you want to um, see. Missed the whole section out. a snug fit I'm not gonna lie but they do fit they came out so they've got to go back in there we go yeah it's a very snug fit in here done. I usually do take off my, uh, if I can, it's not allowing me to, so I will just cut and stick it on the top so I know which one is which. This is my washi tape that I'm using it for, for the um, for the sides and to section. So, 
for this one it is my standard 30 by 40 size my favorite size to work on so i think let me just open that curtain please. i think what i'm gonna do is my standard um my standard six section so i go straight down the middle like so yeah about there like so and then whoops okay that didn't like me did it We want to go one, two. go so I've done the sectioning part now I am going to do the um, around the edge because the adhesive it's not too bad it has gone over a little bit though so let me just grab something to hold that down and then we can just go and put it around the edge Of the painting. Mm -hmm. the scissors. Like so, there's that side done. Don't feel you have to do this because, you know, I just do it because purely I love washi tape and I love all the different patterns. And I think sometimes I use it to decorate the canvases at the end as well. So, you know, you can use just normal cellar tape. You don't have to use pattern tape. Um, it's just something that is good for like people who like art and crafts, scrap, scrapbook making and stuff like that. You can see the line here has gone over quite a bit actually on this one, the adhesive. Even on my partials, I tend to do this now, even when they're not got the adhesive on, because I just think it, it looks pretty. And sometimes they set the picture off really well as well, the washi tape. Oops, done it again guys, done it again. This side's going to be in two halves then.
No, that's not going to work. Let me just get my knife. There we go, we have gone over the line slightly, yeah. there we go, done and dusted, set to go, okay. I'm hoping to get this one done ASAP, but, you know, such is life. <sighs> I will try my best to get it done, though, before Christmas. And then I can show you if this is a yay or a nay for gifting. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Um, share would be good and if you could please 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 subscribe as well because i did get a notification yesterday off of youtube saying that my video views have gone up by 94 percent i think so um but there is a huge amount of people watching my videos that aren't subscribed so please just hit that subscription bell for me uh button even and hit the bell and it will notify you every time I upload. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for you today. So please take care of yourselves, stay safe and uh, just love each other as best as possible. Take care and God bless. Bye.